Hi everyone, thank you very much for watching my video and for subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please show your support by clicking the subscribe button and like this video after you're done watching to support our channel. Uh, today, I'm going, going to show you how to change the VWT1 brake pads and rotors. The thing is, uh, the brake light finally came on on a VWT1 and this is what you have to do. You have to remove the wheel and tires and if you don't know how to jack the VWT1, I have another video that you can uh, check out uh, in the description on how to jack the car up and I already removed the wheel right here. Uh, you need jack stand and you need this um, wrench and uh, and what happened is, come on here, Brenna. My daughter is here today. Uh, th there is oh, there is a screw back here. Here, can you show them? It's covered like this. It's a torque screw. It's covered, so you need to pull it out. This plastic piece right here. It pre it, it the plastic piece it prevents it from uh, what do you call it? Uh, from getting rusty. The, so there are two of them. One is in the bottom. Can you show them again, Brenna? One is right here. Uh, let me see right here see that you have to remove this too it's gonna look like this you just remove the wheels and it will expose look at this this is a sign uh, I just inspect my brake and I said holy cow I mean this is at what 59,000 miles the brake looks like this so it's gonna yeah this means I have to change the brake so and this is the brake structure this is the rotors and the pad is right here for those of you who are advanced in auto uh, maintenance um, you can you know this is for beginner for people who want to learn how to do this kind of maintenance you'll be really tight you need uh, gloves and again when you work with cars you need gloves and most important thing that you need let me see. Oops. I can't find my glasses. Where's my glasses then? Have you seen my glasses? Yeah, I, I can't find my glasses, but um hold on. I mean, the thing things will fly um, around and you have to protect your eyes so I'll be back hi everyone I can't believe uh, I found my polarized driving glasses but this will do the thing when you work with car things can fly uh, to your eyes to your face or or you accidentally scratch your hand so you need gloves and glasses so especially when you want to pull something up when you try to force it sometimes parts will just fly one time I tried to change the transmission of my Corvette and I forgot to uh, wear my safety glasses and uh, the transmission oil went to my eyes. Thankfully, uh, I wasn't blinded. So yeah, you gotta be careful. So anyway, to remove, uh, to change the... Uh, come on here, Brenna, can you show them? This thing, the brake rotors needs to be changed and the uh, uh, brake pads need to be changed. And uh, I bought the... What happened is I, I tried to order one from uh, Amazon, but UPS messed it up. It went to the wrong house and they lost it. So I have to reorder from Detroit Axle from another vendor. And the other vendor is smart. They use FedEx, not UPS. Somehow the UPS uh, in this area like to screw things up. So they're very smart. Uh, this is where you're gonna, I'm gonna put everything. It's from uh, Detroit Axle right there. So yeah, they finally uh, bring the right pad and uh, I used a Bosque for the front and Akebono for the back. So either way you're fine. I like Bosque and Akebono, but yeah, Detroit Axle is the rotors uh, manufacturer. So anyway, uh, to remove the caliper, you need this uh, screwdriver, flat screwdriver, and there is this wire right here. Come on, you're going screw them. Uh, so you just have to pry it. You move a bit there, like, like that. Uh, sorry. Uh, oops. There you go. See, look, look, look. Right here. You just have to pry it out of the way. 
It's a bit tight. Could you move it, darling, and it's space. Yeah, it's really, really tight. It looks like it's flimsy, but it's not. It's actually pretty tight. It, uh, they use it to keep the... Oh, it's pretty dusty too. Holy cow. There you go. Oops. Yeah, this is gonna be pain in the butt to move. Because... We're gonna move one side at a time. But once this is out of the way, it should be easy. Hold on. There you go. Now you have to move this out of the way. There. You can don't lose this one. I know it looks kind of really bad, but you need to keep it in a safe place. I'll just put it right here. And now, since that that thing is out of the way, you need a. Uh, torque bit uh, right there it's a P45 P45 this one here P45 can you see P45 you want to put it right here in the back here show them right there P45 to loosen it up so this whole thing will come up so you need your wrench of course and then we got uh, if you need extension you probably need extension but we'll see if uh, i may need extension but we'll see if i can get it up without extension let me see hmm. yeah, uh, let me get this out with an extension and see what's gonna happen could you move it darling see what you want to do is you're gonna put it right here this thing is going to be really hard. Actually, no. I'm going to go there. Sorry. The other way. No. Yeah. You need to loosen it up. There you go. It's really... Uh, this is will release the, the brake. It's, you'll be shocked how... Uh, you'll be like, what? <laughs> it's not that hard. <laughs> Look at this. As soon as you go to this stage, it won't be that hard anymore because now you just have to loosen this up. Can you go up a bit, babe? So they can see what I'm doing. See this thing? There's a screw inside this thing. Can you move a bit out of the way, and I need some space here. Just now. Oh, there it is. Now the screw is out. Now we have to take the bottom one right here. The same way to... This is how you do it. Hold on. Could you move it, darling? I need space. I can't see if you... Right there. Right there. You... Okay. This is how you do it. You pull it up. You insert it and you pull it up to release it. There you go. Actually, no. No. Like that. Then, now it's loosened. Yeah, it's really easy. I thought it was going to be very difficult. Apparently, when you have the right tools, I'll, I'll put the, all the links in the description. See? It's really easy. There you go. Oops, hold on. Could you move it, darling? I, I need space, darling. I can't see if you're on my way. Hold on. It's just, it's just, it's really tight. This is why not many people like to create YouTube video tutorial because it's really hard when you don't have any help. Like uh, camera girl, like my daughter has been very thankful. Thank you, Brenna. She's been very patient and she's been very helpful in helping me to create. See, now the screw is loose. Um, hold on. And there's another one right here. This one is, uh, you may want to oh, hold on i'll be back guys everyone i'm back uh what happened is you may need a breaker bar because that part this big screw right here brother 
this is gonna be really tough right here you need a breaker bar do you see that screw this one right here the big one it's like mother of all screw like moab mother of all bomb could you move it darling so but anyway i already pulled this screw out so what you need to do just wiggle it wiggle it wiggle it wiggle it ah, there you go what you want to do um you may want to uh, put it out up here and look at this thing and just pull the brake pad out voila <laughs> so look at how bad the brake pad is see this is <laughs> if you want to do brake inspection just do it yourself you don't need to pay an anyone to do it so uh, yeah you don't drop this one. Oh my goodness it's so oh my god this thing is so bad look at this holy cow Whew. oh wow this is this is a sign of ba bad bad brake that needs to be replaced i haven't replaced this for a long time this is probably the original brake look at this see this is for this side and look at this this is the the oh even the brake sensor needs to be replaced look at this thing holy cow wow yeah i'm just gonna uh, what happened is the the kit comes with the brake sensor so oh wow this is crazy look at this thing mm. yeah this is the the sensor for the brakes so i'm gonna get it out anyway i'll be back everyone this is the brake wear sensor see this is how it looks like it looks like this and there's a hole right here can you show them Brene? there's a hole on the top see that you want to get the flat screwdriver do it like that and then you pry it up and then pull it out that's it uh, don't worry about this you have to change it anyway so this is the time when okay I'm gonna change the brake uh, what do you call that um, Rotor? rotors so i'm gonna get some uh what do you call that velcro oh, not velcro wd-40 no i'm gonna hang this right here so it won't fall and break the the brake line so i'll be back you need zip ties you wanna put it up here so it won't fall down and then you ended up breaking the brake line just put it somewhere here hopefully the zip tie is big enough i think i need a bigger one you know where the big one, Brenna? Like the black one? Um, I do not know. I'll be back. I, I need a big one. I found a way to secure it with the small zip ties. Now, your brake caliper is secure, so you can work on removing this piece. Could you move it, darling? This is gonna be a hard one. This is how it looks like. Can you show them? That's how. how bad brake pads look like could you move it darling stand up could you stand up please i really need space on this one okay it helps when you turn the wheel of the car uh, that you want to work on this way to expose this part right here because this whole thing will come out so you need a a breaker bar because this thing is gonna be see that you need to turn the whole thing this way to, in order to yeah, something is not right with this. I'll be back, guys. Everyone, this is when you're gonna put it right here. Yeah, this thing is really hard, so you really need a breaker bar on it. Move, darling. Could you move, move darling? I want you to move, darling. I'm right here. Okay, move a bit. And it, so, oh, so this one is gonna be up like that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. There. <laughs> you always pull it up when you this thing is not long enough to break the screw so you put it on and then you bring it up oh my god now it's loose holy cow this breaker bar a lifesaver it's a lifesaver if you want to do diy i'll put everything in the description but when it's loose you'll be like oh, finally and again, it's really cold here, but after a while, after you work on your car, it's like, holy cow, it's warm. It's so warm right now, it's not even funny because it's working on car is hard. And imagine, that's why not a lot of DIY YouTuber doing this because it's a hard job. Look at that. Oh, for this one, you need uh, this, this size right here. 
what is that? 75, uh, what is that? 75872, but you need something like a, a socket this big. And once you break it, then you just, there you go. Now you're in business. See how easy it is to change the brake rotors and the brake pads? It's like, this is why you don't need to go to the dealer or mechanic to do uh, your own brake, uh, what do you call that? Rotors and your brake pad because you can do this at home. It's really dirty right now. I'm gonna uh, clean it up. Yeah, this thing is really, really dirty. You need a brake cleaner after this. I'm gonna pause the video and uh, really clean the brake. See? It's really easy once this thing come out, then you're in business. Oh my goodness, it's really rusty here. Yeah, I was really scared when I first learned how to do DIY work, but after doing it like several times, see, that, that it come out. You need to clean all this stuff. Don't worry about all this stuff. So now we need to clean all this screw now. Anyway, I'll be back. I need to get the um, brake cleaner. Actually, uh, before we do that, I'm gonna show you how to remove. Let's remove this one first. All you need is, come here, Rena. Another torque bit screw. Uh, hold on. Right here. I just can't find it right now. Uh, I'll be back. I'm back. You need a T30. Torque bit T30 for this. This is a piece of cake right here. Because it's, uh, it's easy. I like that big giant screw. Look at this thing. Like, whoo, it's big. Like mother of all screw. Yeah, screw you. Right? Screw, screw. So this one is T30. There you go. <laughs> It's really easy. Actually, no, sorry. It's the wrong way. Remember, it's go going up to release it. Counterclockwise. Yeah. Actually, actually, that's to tighten it, man. This one is a little bit different. It's counterclockwise. Actually, this is counterclockwise. You're right. <laughs> Brianna, actually, she watched me so many times doing a car. She actually learned. This is why I like my daughter, too watch me doing car maintenance so someday hopefully she can use this skill to maintain her own car because everybody drives you know everybody has a car and you need um, this is really heavy what you want to do with this one uh, I'll be back <laughs> don't just remove that it's really sticky right now just put one screw right here this thing will prevent it from falling on the floor or falling on your foot because it's really, really heavy. Uh, where is my mallet? Man? I'll be back. Hi everyone, I, I can't find my mallet. This is, I couldn't find my glasses, I couldn't find my mallet. So since we're not gonna save the rotors, we're just gonna hit it with the hammer. This is old anyway, look at this, how ugly it is. So. Let me see. It's really, really sticky right now. Could you move it, Ellie? Oh. Yeah, it's very sticky. And usually, it should come out. But in this case, it didn't want to come out. Look at that frost. Holy cow. Are you alright, Vena? Yeah, this is a bit, I'll be back. This is a bit stubborn. Hi everyone. If your brake rotor is rusted like this one, uh, it may take a while for you, but uh, you need, instead of a regular uh, hammer, uh, get something like this. So you just hit it like this until it finally loosen. It will remove all the rust. So now you can, when it start to loose like this, you can remove this bolt, put it up aside and look at that. 
it's really really bad so now this is the time where uh you need to clean all the brake pads i mean the brake parts not uh pads yeah it, it takes a while to do a brake job uh it's not like uh, one of my favorite thing to do but it has to be done eventually to your car so now it it's really interesting how you the brake assembly of the tiguan it's a uh, last night uh what do you call it it, it was getting dark so what you want to do just uh, always use gloves when you work on brakes so this is the time where you just have to clean all the with a brick uh, caliper brush this is not for your teeth it's not mechanic toothbrush but you use it just to clean everything see that all the dirt holy cow it's, uh, it's, it's really dirty this is when you use the brick caliper like this one here it's time to actually clean it I'll be back I need to get uh, actually this one is not too bad right here I just need to clean it up see that oh my goodness all that dirty stuff but look at this thing you need to spray it really well to remove all this yucky stuff here look at that oh my goodness actually if you want to paint your caliper right now it's a good time because it, everything is falling apart but that's how you basically remove the uh, brake uh, rotor pad and caliper so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up you want to clean everything up you need a brake cleaner I'm gonna put everything all the parts tools that you need for this uh, job anyway I'll be back everyone uh, it's good when you have this uh, 3m uh, fine sandpaper to remove all this stuff this, see, look at it check before right this is before and then you use this sandpaper to clean it up this is a good time for you to remove all this rust uh, I'll put all the parts see that yeah this is you need this thing this is fine but but all, all around the the brake part we need to clean this up especially this this part here this is a good time for you to just remove all the rust see look at it and then i'm gonna spray it this is a good time when you remove all the parts might as well and this part right here you know the screw the bolt just start cleaning it things up actually i just found found this a uh, brake caliper paint i have it uh, so i'm gonna paint the brake caliper uh probably well i don't have to show you how to do this it's like uh the brake paint caliper it's just like a paint it's easier to work on this when you have this is a good time if you want to uh, paint uh, your brake this is a good time this is a, again brake cleaner to clean it up before you paint it and then uh, yeah this is really neat product actually really neat oh look at this it has the reactor and the, there is a way to this is the actual paint here it's the red one so i'm gonna paint it today so anyway uh i'll be back i mean you can uh it has the i'll, I'll put the instruction is really good right here i, I won't make a video today because it's gonna take too long but this is the good time if you want to paint your brake caliper red right now while everything is uh you you need this uh sandpaper right here you just uh you know clean it up really well before you even paint it because right now it's really rusty you want you want to get all the rust out before you paint it and clean it really well with a brake cleaner so anyway i'll be back guys so i'm i decided to paint this today to make the whole thing look nice but it's very important to clean this part here when you change your brake because look at that you want to get rid of all those rust yeah it's gonna take a while to do it so i'll be back hi everyone uh i'm really excited uh i thought i ordered a regular uh 
brake rollers, but Detroit Axle. Uh, I ordered a nice performance a slotted cross drill rotors for the VWT gun. It looks so much nicer and uh, I'm really excited about it. Look at this, the difference between this one and the old one you, uh, is such a huge difference, night and day. Well, look at this. What a nice looking ro rotors right here. Com it's, uh, compared to the old one, it's so filthy. Hold on, I'm gonna compare it side by side so you can see the difference. Hold on, where is this? Oh, where's the paper towel, darling? Can you give me the paper towel? towel? No, the whole thing, darling. Thank you. So, yeah, we ended up using the uh, paint caliper spray because we don't have the brush. Uh, but before that, I'm gonna show you the difference between the old cal uh, rotors and the new one. So, yeah, it's a it's a messy job, and uh, the thing is. When you buy a new caliper like this, oh look at this, the difference. It's so much nicer, right? Look at the old one. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Side by side. It's so filthy. Can you see that Brenda? Mm hmm Yeah, so you wanna get you wanna get rid of this one. You're not gonna reuse that anymore. So yeah, it's really filthy. What you wanna do with, with this one is uh, come here Brenna, can you close come closer? Remember this uh, little screw right here? You don't want to lose, lose this one right here because this one is the one that holds the caliper. So you want to mount it like this. Come here, Bana. Can, can you show them? See? This little hole right here, can you show them? Right here. Has to go exactly where the. Uh, there you go. Where the hole here uh, move a bit darling uh, yes, i'm gonna use this the let me see t30 to, to mount it look at this it's so much nicer did you see that the difference is like night and day compared to the old one okay, i'm really excited about this and uh, it's a good to like prep it before you mount it could you move it darling with a uh, yeah I almost forgot to to do this uh, since I talked too much in this video so uh, you want to actually hold on yeah you want to find a clean surface with with uh, all this dirt like that and clean it up You see that? Just clean everything up. There you go. And both sides, you do the same thing on both sides. Sometimes there's like a factory coating. Like that. Now we mount it. Oh, the smell of the brake cleaner is horrible. It makes me want to throw up. <laughs> uh, hold on. Hold on. There you go. Now you mount it. Make sure. There you go. Now, the brake roller is mounted. So anyway, I'll be back while we're gonna paint the whole uh, entire uh, caliper. I'll see you guys later. Hi everyone, I changed my mind. I decided not to paint the caliper anymore. It takes longer to, and then it, the paint is not so good. So if you, since this is a DIY video, I just wanna do something fast. I'll do the painting later. You have to mount this back, look at this and just mount everything back and this part come here Rana, can you show them look at this yeah I, I failed the painting forget it I just don't have time to do it we have to use the car tomorrow so 
you just have to mount this two back and just I should be one it. odd one odd one even isn't it yeah. <laughs> that. yeah it's it's the first time I work on the German car it's really interesting that uh, and then fr from here after you tighten it you want to torque it you want to get uh, this is very important you want to torque it at 95 uh, pound of torque you need a torque wrench because if you don't torque it uh, this thing can come out so let's do torque it quick there you go 95 foot of torque yeah you need a torque wrench to do this until it click there you go now it's good so I, I don't have to worry about this thing uh, coming off coming off well I'm, I'm just gonna clean this off yeah I'll do the painting later in this video I just want you to guys to learn how to uh, put this on now is the fun part Come here, Brenna. Uh, remember that we mount the brake caliper on top right here, so we want to cut that thing and bring it down. Look at this. I use the boss for the front brake uh, rotors. It comes with two pads, and look, it comes with a new uh, brake wear sensor. And I'm surprised they give a brand new, uh, what do you call it, this? Uh, the wire? Yeah, the wire here for the front. Oh, I'm, cable. Yeah, I'm very happy about this uh, wire here. So I'm gonna bring this one down the caliper uh, like that. Now we have to put the brake pads right here. It's really interesting. The thing is, um, you need the special brake tools right here to push the what do you call that thing? Yeah, this thing backward. I, 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 uh, what do you call that thing? I don't know, but you need to put special brake tools right here. Is that called a vice? No, it's not. It's you. I lost the word. Uh, this is a special brake tool. To the thing is, you cannot. Uh, ah, I cannot. I can't believe I lost the the word to do it. Look at this thing. Uh, the piston the piston <laughs> yeah the piston when you pull the brake pads out the piston move out so if, this is a brake piston uh, tool to push the piston back into a neutral position so all you need to do is just put it here and just push it see that it's really neat to have the brake piston tool so you don't have to see that the, the piston is start to move back now so we can uh, fit the brake pads into the this part here. Yeah, I love this uh, brake piston tool. It, it allow me to uh, to put the piston back. There you go. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm glad I bought this. Yeah, if you don't have the brake piston tool, buy it. Some people use a C clamp. It's pain in the butt. The C clamp. Uh, this thing is much better tool. So now it's the piston are back into place. I'm just gonna put it here for now, and we're gonna first we're gonna get uh, th this one right here is for. Hold on, I'll be back. Hi everyone. Yeah, this part, as you notice, for the front part, it will go inside the piston right here like that see this whole, this whole thing will go into this hole right here you have to kind of push it it's, it's, the problem is the piston is heavy it's, it's kind of hard to do there you go once it's um, mounted uh, be careful with this uh, brake sensor uh, you if you're not careful you'll break this thing everything is so delicate at this point uh, I have to be really careful not to break anything. Um, I don't know why Boss put this 
thing to protect it. I'll be back. Hi everyone, now that the the pads are inside, now we can. Okay, this is the wear sensor. You can put it back like right here. There we go until it click. Now you can make make sure be careful with this one. There you go. You want to be very very gentle with this because. And you need to put the other, I almost forgot, the other pads on this side. Hold on. Oop. Oop, oop, oop. What the? Yeah. See that? Now you want to put this pad here on this side. Yeah, this is really tight sometimes. There you go. Oh, I wonder. My gloves got caught in. Ah, yeah. And be careful with this one. Look, the brake sensor can break if you're not careful. So there. Please. Now it's extra caution. Just be really careful. Now you want to get the T30 here. Where's T30? Yeah, I have so many things going on here. I don't know where my tools are anymore. That's the thing about brake job. It's not that hard, it's just, uh, what do you call that? It's, it takes a lot of time to do it and patience. So anyway, I'll be back guys. What happened is you need to put this one back with a T30. And make sure you don't break the, uh, where this, this, the sensor right here. Be very gentle. Be very, very gentle. Should we cut it? Um, I'll be back. Hi everyone, now this thing is mounted back. So you just put this pad in the back and close this. And close that. Uh, yeah, it looks good. Actually, we're not done yet. See, this thing is still moving. This is when you need to put this uh, brace right here. Wire brace. I'm glad they give me a new one. So it looks like... Um, yeah, the thing is, it comes with two front brake pads, which is nice. I'll put this one back. Now you, all you have to do is... Uh, put it back the way it was. It, yeah, put it back the way it was. And it's, uh, there you go. Just push it. And this one is going to be... I need my gloves. Be careful when you do this. Wear gloves. Uh, it will pinch your finger. And it's painful. And again, wear your glasses. You don't want this thing to fly on your. The thing about spring like this. Oh, ah, see. I just. Knew what it. did you tell you? What did we tell you? I've done so many car work. Sometimes things just. I'm expecting things just happen, without you know. You don't want it. To, you want. You don't want it to happen, but it's out of your control. That's why safety first when you work on your car, especially at home. There you go. Uh, I'll be back. This thing uh, is a little bit tight. It's, I don't want to bore you guys. I'll be back. Bye. Hi everyone. Wow. That is hard. You need a plier to move this uh, wire back. It's so tight. Look at this camera. Right Can you show it to them? Holy cow. Uh, okay. <laughs> is it hard to change your VW Tiguan uh, brakes? Actually, it's a really hard job. It's super hard. Look at that. You need to put this. Uh... Okay, there is a trick to it. You have to put this one. I mean, put the hole and put one part out, and then you have to push this one, and then use a uh, what do you call it? Plier. A plier. A plier right here, and then to move it back. It's really tight. You can't use your hand to do it. Uh, let me see. Where's the plier? Right here. So, what you do is you put the up uh, this one like this, the top part like this. Mount it. Mount the top one first, and then push uh, another one in the. It's gonna be like this, and then from here you grab plier 
and then you move it to this side now we're good so whoo that is hard man so if you don't have tools uh yeah this is really nice a piston pushing tool right here so so we're uh almost done i'm gonna mount the tires and at least uh, one side this is um it takes just span at least uh three to four hours if you're not familiar with this job so at least the new look at that it's so much nicer the rollers and the pad so yeah it takes 45 to an hour if you're not familiar with it this is my first time doing this job so uh, forgive me if it looks messy because it's my first time so anyway i'm gonna put the tire back and then uh, work on the the rest of the car i'll teach you how to uh, change the back later i'll see you guys later bye Hi everyone i'm finally done uh, take a look at it man coming over here that's how you change the front brake pads and loader it's, it's my first time i've been delaying it since uh, we moved from maryland to virginia so now i finally have the time to do it make sure you have a nice with big one you need a bigger uh jack like I bought the lift master right here. If you want to start doing DIY, get the lift master. It's really super heavy duty and get the pro uh, jack stand. This is super important. The thing is when you do car maintenance, you have to have a jack stand and a nice lift if you want to. It's as you can see, this job is not easy. So every time you do brake jobs, make sure bleed the brake. So you wanna do, you wanna come here and come here, Brennan. Don't drive the car. The thing is, you have to keep pressing the brake. Hold on. Never ever drive the car, okay? Bleed the brake. Bleed the brake. So the piston will go back into the position so now now it's good now you feel it see make sure you press the brake pedal and then uh, put the brake piston back into the regular position anyway I uh, love you guys thank you so much for watching my video or subscribing to my youtube channel uh, make sure uh, click the like button comment down below uh, comment down below and thank you very much bye